Hi, this is question four from the AQA call for January 2013 um, exam paper. Um, in the first part of this video, I'd like you to have a go at the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video and try the question first of all. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to go over a hint um, to the question. So um, we've got a curve that's defi defined by the equation x squared take away y squared is equal to 8. We need to show that any point PQ on the curve where Q is not equal to 0, the gradient of the curve is given by dy by dx is equal to P over Q. So to start with in this question, you want to um, differentiate each of the terms of this original equation with respect to x. You can then rearrange it to get it into the form um, dy by dx um, and, and get that in terms of x and y um, and then you can substitute in the values of p and q. For part 2 we need to show that the tangents of the points at pq and p negative q intersect on the x-axis so what we want to do is we want to we know what the gradient is we've got that over here so um, we want to use that and um, we want to construct an equation for the tangent for this point here and an equation for the tangent at this point here. We can then have a go at solving those simultaneously um, to show that they intersect on the x-axis um, or on y equals 0 when y equals 0. Okay, um, part B, um, we need to show that this uh, and this are parametric equations of the curve x squared take away y squared is equal to 8. So um, if I sh I can show this by squaring this and squaring this and subtracting um, this one away from that one and what we should end up with is a value of 8 and if we do that then we've shown that the parametric equation um, is so we've shown that this is in fact a parametric equation of this curve here. Okay, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at working those out. Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go over the full solution of these um, questions. So starting with um, 4a. first part of 4a. Okay, so we wanted to show that any point pq on this curve, um, the gradient is given by this here. So I'm going to start by um, differentiating um, each term of this with respect to x. So um, if I differentiate that with respect to x, I get 2x. And I take away and if I differentiate that with respect to x, um, if you remember the rule for this, I get 2y times by dy by dx. That's what I get if I differentiate that. Uh, and that equals, um, if I differentiate that, I get 0. Okay, so rearranging this, I've got 2y dy by dx is going to be equal to 2x. So that tells me dy by dx must be equal to x over y, which is equal to, um, because we're sh um, showing that any point pq, we can say that's equal to p over q. Okay, um, part two, we want to show that the tangents here intersect on the x-axis. So um, I'm going to be using this here. And I'm going to write each of my equations in this form. So, um, <coughs> so for uh, the tangent at pq, I know that the gradient is going to be p over q. Um, so I can um, stick that into here to get a general equation for it. So that's going to be so at pq. We're going to have y take away is equal to and m is p over q and we're going to have x take away p okay 
Um, so that's my equation at PQ, and I'm going to do it at P negative Q. So the um, gradient at this point is going to be minus P over Q. Um, so this is going to be Y, and take away minus Q is going to be plus Q is equal to, and we decided the gradient is going to be negative p over q, and this is going to be um, x subtract p. Okay, so um, what I now want to do is I'm going to add these two together. Okay, if I add these two equations together, that's going to give me y plus y is 2y, q plus minus q is going to be 0, so we're going to have 2y, and that's going to be equal to, and if I add this and this together, I'm just going to get 0. So 2y is equal to 0, which means y is equal to 0, so therefore um, they intersect at the point where y is equal to 0 which means that they intersect um, on the x-axis. Okay, so, intersect on the x-axis. Right, um, so that's part A. Um, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit, and then we'll have a go at part B. Okay, so for part B, we want to show that um, x is equal to t plus 2 over t and y is equal to t take away two, 2 over t are parametric equations of this curve here. So um, I'm going to square each term and um, I'm going to subtract this one from this one and I'm looking for an answer of 8. So um, I'm going to do t plus plus 2 over t squared subtract t take away 2 over t squared um, and that's going to be equal to um, and I'll, I'll write it out in full so you can see clearly what's happening Okay, so um, t times t is t squared, the brackets around here. Um, t times 2 over t is going to be 2, so it's going to be plus 2, plus 2 again, plus 4 over t squared. Okay, and I'm going to take away, I'm going to do the same thing over here, t squared minus 2t over t which is minus 2 minus 2 again and that's going to be plus 4 over t squared ok so um, if I simplify this further I'm going to have t squared plus 4 plus 4 over t squared take away t squared take away negative 4, so that's plus 4, and take away 4 over t squared. OK, and that's going to be equal to, well, t squared and this t, um, negative t squared cancel each other out. Um, I've got a plus 4 and a plus 4, which is 8, and this part here and this part here, which cancel each other out. So that's going to be equal to 8. And uh, there you go, that's what we were looking for. So that shows that this, um, these um, equations here are parametric equations of um, this curve here. Okay, and there you go. Um, thanks very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.